What's up guys? Today we are talking about something called the table of time. You say, what's the table of time? The table of time has to do with transitions between rhythmic rates. You say, what's a rhythmic rate? All right, so we'll talk about rhythmic rates. Let's just break down what rhythmic rates are for a second. So if I have, like a, if I have a drumstick here, and this is gonna sort of represent the beginning of, if we're playing with a metronome, which we're gonna do in a second, if the click starts here, then we have a duration of time that passes, and then you have your next click. So this length of drumstick represents a length of time. Okay, I understand that. We can take this drumstick and we can chop it up into any number of ways, right? So if I chop this drumstick in the middle, we'd have two pieces, but if we put them back together, we'd still have the same length of drumstick. Or if I chopped it into three pieces, same idea, right? So that would be like triplets. Like if we took a length of time and chopped it into three pieces, we'd have like triplets. So it's broken up into three pieces, but if we put that all, all back together, we have the initial length. Okay, so that's the concept here. So let's talk about like what rhythmic rates we're going to be talking about today. So this is like the basic version. We're going to do another video uh, on the advanced version of the table of time. So basic version, what are we talking about? Okay, so let's think of like a formula for rhythmic rates, okay? So there's always going to be like a group of two, and then a group of three, and then a group of two, and then a group of three, and it just keeps going like that, okay? So, and if I say a group of two, something divisible by, you know, by, by two, like a group of two or, you know, or a group of three, you know, later on. So, where are we going to start? Quarter notes. Okay, now I know there are half notes and there's whole notes and there's half triplets. We can talk about those later, but today we're going to start with the good old quarter note. Okay, so if you're going to count off a band, one, two, three, four, those are quarter notes. Okay, so quarter note first. Now let's see, after quarter note, we'd have some type of triplet. We'd have the quarter note triplet, okay? After the quarter note triplet, we'd have eighth notes. After the eighth note, we have the eighth triplet. After the eighth triplet, we have the sixteenth, then the sixteenth triplet, then the thirty-second, then the thirty-second triplet, then the sixty-fourth. It goes on and on like that, okay? So that's kind of the idea. Now today, on this video, we're going to be talking about quarter notes. We're going to skip the quarter note triplet because that's more of an advanced idea that gives people problems a lot of times. So we'll, we'll skip that for now. We're talking about quarter notes, eighth notes, eighth triplets, sixteenth, sixteenth triplets, and then finally the thirty-second note, okay? So let's go through each one, and then we're going to put this whole thing together. Okay, so this metronome is set on 70 beats a minute, okay? So the quarter note, easy, right? You're just playing with the metronome. We're setting our metronome to play, to play quarter notes. Okay, that's easy. All right, next, what we're going to talk about today is the eighth note. Two subdivisions per click. Hmm, okay. Click, 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 click. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. So those are eight notes, right? And we count those one and two and three and four and. So let's check those out. One and two and three and four and. All right? Easy. Okay. Now, after our eighth note, let's see, the next fastest subdivision would be the eighth triplet, okay? And you're going to count those triplet, 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 triplet. You can count it. One triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet. Grasshopper, grasshopper, grasshopper. However you want to do that, okay? And you're going to notice I'm going to put a little emphasis, a little accent with the beat. It helps me stay on, on uh, track here. Let's check this out. Okay, so those are eighth triplets. One triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet. Okay, the next rhythmic rate, 16th note. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. Okay, that's easy. Most people know how to play sixteenth notes. The next fastest rhythmic rate after that is going to be the sixteenth triplet. Okay, well, how do you count that? Well, you're, you can count it a couple ways. Okay, you could count two triplets per click, like triplet, 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 triplet. Or some people, when you if you have the rudiment, uh, some of you might know your rudiment single stroke seven. Give me the bucket of fish, right? So you could say, give me the bucket of, 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 either one. Okay, so triple it, 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 or give me the bucket of, 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 okay? So that's the 16 triplet, and finally the 32nd note. Hmm, how are we going to get the 32nd note? That's so fast, right? Well, it's not that fast. Everybody thinks, you know, people are like, I'll have people come to me in drum lessons and they'll be like, can you play 30 second notes? 
I'd be like, yeah, man, here's a 30 second note. Right? Yeah, it's just like, like, it's all tempo dependent. That could be a crazy slow tempo, and those could be 30 second notes. So your rhythmic rate really depends on how fast your tempo is, okay? So, getting back to what we're talking about, if we're playing 16th notes, we already talked about those, 1E and a 2E and a 3E and a 4E and a, well, what's 16 times 2? Aha! 16 times 2 is 32, which means if we take our 16th notes and we double those, we get 32nd notes. Okay, let's try it out. So here's, third, here's our 16th notes. Okay, I'm cool with that. Now let's try doubling our rhythmic rate, and we'll get the 32nd note. Hmm. Okay. 32nd note. Okay, so those are the individual rhythmic rates. A lot of you might already know how to play those individual rhythmic rates. But getting back to the table of time, the idea of today is we're going to take all these rhythmic rates and work on transitions. Now, when do musicians make mistakes? Or, you know, anybody, like a guitar player could be playing or a drummer could be playing. If you're sitting there just on a groove, you know, you're probably not going to make a mistake. You're, you know, if, you're, if, you've, if you've done your practicing, you know, time and stuff like that. When are you going to make a mistake? Well, probably you're going to make a mistake when you make some type of transition. Maybe going from a groove to a fill or even, you know, changing your rhythmic rate within the fill or something like that. So the concept of today is changing rhythmic rates because that's where we're going to make mistakes. So if you get comfortable with changing rhythmic rates, you know, you're going to make a lot, a lot less mistakes later on. So let's work on this and, let, and let's talk about it like conceptually here. So we're gonna think of this like a ladder, okay? We have rungs of a ladder. So maybe the bottom of the ladder is the quarter note, and then the next rung up the ladder would be like the eighth note. So I don't want you to just like climb straight to the top of the ladder. What we wanna do is we wanna go up and down the rungs of the ladder. So maybe we'll step here, step up, step down, step up, step down. Okay, I feel comfortable with that. Then we'll step up and down between these two rhythmic rates. So that's the way you wanna practice this. All right, here we go. So let's do this together. And you can let's stop that for a second. You can watch this video and then go back and start it at this point, and we're gonna do two bars of each rhythmic rate. So if you're not comfortable, go back in the video and kind of step these two rhythmic rates, and then when you're comfortable, move on. Okay, so here's the here's the whole here's the whole shebang. Alright, so we're gonna do and stop that again. So again, there's gonna be a there's a PDF that goes along with this video. You can click on the link. If you're on the website, if you're on my website. Uh, just click on the link right next to the video. If you're on YouTube, go to the description and click on the PDF and you can see you know, what the different rhythmic rates look like and then you can kind of go in order of where we're at. Okay, here we go. All right, so quarter notes, right? Here they come, two bars of each. One, two, three, four. One, two, moving on. Eight, here comes the eighth note. Triplet. Here comes the sixteenth. Here comes the sixteen triplet. Finally, thirty second. Am I going down? Here comes the 16th. Here comes the 8th triplet. Eighth note. that's the entire thing that's how you want it to be like that's like the final product or the final you know the end product but when you start off you're not gonna be able to do that you're gonna have problems between these rhythmic rates so what you want to do say you're having problems between like 16th and 16 triplets that one gives people a lot of problems okay so you just work on 16th for a second okay I feel comfortable there maybe I've been doing that for a couple minutes I feel good with that and then just work on 16 triplets what does that sound like Okay, that feels comfortable. I've been doing that for a couple of minutes, so that feels cool. So then you want to work on just putting those two together, and that sounds like this. And then go back. And then up. And 
you do that forever, you know, ad nauseum, until you get sick of it. But that's what you want to do for each individual rhythmic rate. And then once, once each, you know, you go between two, then you put the final pod together and you have the final table of time. Okay? That's it. Hope you enjoyed it. And if you already, if you can do this, then check out the next video, which is advanced table of time. Whoa. All right. Have a good one.